Hello and welcome to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Carly Nare, and on here we talk about various fragrances that are in my collection or anything that you want to talk about. Uh, if this is the first time I've ever come across your screen, well, welcome. On here we talk about a lot of variety of things. I just did my full collection. If, uh, if you want to get into that, it is in the description called Full Fragrance Collection. That's something you can look into. Today's topic is going to be about what did I get for my birthday? I just had a birthday and it was amazing, right? Uh, hopefully, I think that I may have already shown you uh, a quick synopsis of what it was, but it was absolutely beautiful. Uh, loved it. But in the up to my birthday, I was steady purchasing gifts. So I did end up getting myself five new fragrances. And I want to talk about it with you. Stay tuned. All right. Um, let's just jump into it. Uh, while I am telling you what I purchased, I will show you the notes of them. Uh, these were all fragrances that I, I had to have, right? I had been wearing it as a sample. And I just decided it was time for me to add them to my collection. I had, or I may still have, I'm looking to see, I may still have it, uh, the Oud, Shoggoth Oud, and I had that one, but I really wanted Oud Bouquet, so I finally added Oud Bouquet to my collection. I love this one. This is Mason Lancome. Out of all the ones that had came out in that line, this is one that I kept saying I wanted to get. But because I had uh, Shagaf Oud, I kept saying, well, I don't need it. I don't need it. But then I decided that I do. I want it in my collection. If you haven't heard of this one, uh, the notes in it is Argyle Oud, Praline, Rose, Vanilla, Garak Wood. And there's like a bomb in it, like a blossom bomb, like a, fruit of, a, a floral bomb in it. To me, what made me fall in love with it was the oud rose nuttiness, little powdery in the dry down. Like, it's such a classy scent. So I just felt like I had to have it. You know, sometimes you can have a dupe of something and then you just need the bottle. So I bought oud bouquet. So that is one of my birthday uh, gifts for myself. I really do enjoy that one. <laughs> My next one that I have was, I had been hearing everyone talk about it. And I was like, do I really need it? You know, it was one of them where, do I really need it in my collection or I'm just getting it because I just feel like I have to have it. And to be truly honest with you, I really bought it because I felt like I had to have it, right? Um, I made a very big birthday year this year. And I just have decided that I'm going, I'm going to get everything I want. And so this is uh, Christian Louboutin's Lou, Lou Prince. If you have not heard of this one, you just got to. Like everything about this, I'm not that big on snakes. So the mere fact that it does have a snake on the bottle is a little concerning, but not too much. Because the fragrance is so sexy. Oh, it's so spicy and witty and elegant. I just think I'm in my elegant feminine stage right now. So a lot of the fragrances that I'm looking at are on that level. The notes in this one here is Latimer, Sandalwood, and Tonka Bean. But I promise you, that is what they have listed. It is more to that, to this fragrance. It has a bit of powderness to it. So like a clean, powdery, balsamic note in it it's this gorgeous amber in it i love le prince Lou prince if you have not tried christian louboutin's Lou prince i think that you should at least sample it sample this and maybe you will fall in love with it just like i did but i did add this one to my collection all right my next one is by mancera and you have to thank lulu if you're not watching Lulu World, then you probably should be watching it. She's here on YouTube. She talked about Of the Wild and how much she truly enjoyed it. So this was a blind buy purchase for me. 
and it was one that that was great if you not mind you you have to like white floral if you do not like white floral then i i don't think that you would truly enjoy this one uh but there's a gorgeous like powdery oh god let me see what are the notes in it because i mean these i'm not too familiar oh that's what it's powdery it's pear it's a heliotrope uh the base the heart of it is angel blossom and jasmine the base of it is toffee vanilla pod musk and vetiver this is really like a the opening is fresh so i'm not i don't quite remember how lulu explained it uh but i think she talked about the strawberry pear opening and that's what i was like oh i, I gotta get it uh it's such a fresh opening but that orange blossom and jasmine blend is so beautiful. Like, it's really good. So, of course, I, I told myself I wasn't going to add any more Manceras. But then I added another one, right? And that's okay. You can change your mind. Of the Wild by Mancera is a really good one. So, I added that one to my collection. And all of these that I've added, I am not at all disappointed. This one here is one that i had to wait i had to, i got this one from lucky sense and i had to wait on this one um it wasn't here in the states yet and that is going to be blue baju this is a gorgeous blue berry delicious fragrance very reminiscent of like a blueberry cake or a blueberry ice cream it is just absolutely amazing and delicious. So let's find the notes in it so I can make sure that I'm posting the notes uh, for you to know exactly what I'm talking about. Let me see. Let's hope that it's on here. Yes, it is. Um, the notes in this one is blueberry, cognac, chocolate. Oh, that dark chocolate. That's what it is. I think that's what got me. Dark chocolate black violet violet leaf truffle cacao pie cashmerian wood it's like a lot of notes but mostly i get blueberry cognac dark chocolate argot oud and amber i do get the cacao pie but this is such a edible scent like i wore it once since i've gotten it and i know that i probably need to wear it more often but i've only worn it once but I wore the sample, uh, like a, a whole, uh, like a ton. I got the sample from uh, Scent Split. And I had to have it. Like, I had to have it. This, and I just feel like this is going to get so much better with time. Like, it's just going to just macerate and become just delicious. But it's like a delicious blueberry cake. That's what this reminds me of. So I had to have it. But I had to wait on this one. Uh, Lucky Sense had, uh, was doing pre-orders and it actually came out and was shipped to me in late May. So I'm excited to have this one. All right, to round off my collection, I was lucky enough to be able to attend a Chris Collins event and that is where I was able to get this one here. Um, I attended the event, but I wasn't really able to wear the fragrance yet. I wore this one on my birthday. So this was my birthday scent. That's why I saved it for the last. And I am talking about Lust by Chris Collins. This is, oh my God, this is so good. This is so good. You really need to run, not walk, run to the website and get this one. Think of chocolate. And I love chocolate. So if you're a person who loves chocolate, this is your scent. This is dark chocolate, hazelnut, walnut, and then orris, uh, benzoin, reason, uh, cipriol, and then in the base, you're going to get sandalwood, musk, and this gorgeous oud. Like, this oud is not a, oh, excuse me, I have the hiccups, it's not an animatic oud. This is like a sexy oud. This is like a come kiss me on my neck you know, type, ooh, oh, I love this one. This card is not giving this justice. That dark chocolate hazelnut blend is so good. It is so good. Like, he did amazing with lust. And then the name lust is like, you know, someone lusting after someone, right? So I had on this really beautiful, 
black dress. It was a little see-through under my bodysuit. I had on these really adorable uh, diamond encrusted shoes. Like I just felt like a truly sexy woman on my birthday. And this was my scent, lust. And it did not fail me that it was absolutely amazing. Okay, so I have been doing good. I only added five new fragrances to my collection. I am still in the process of trying to cultivate my collection, kind of pull out some things that I'm not wearing, share it with folks who've been asking for them in my collection or sell it on Macari, right? Uh, I don't believe that I'm, I'm going to ever really be done with organizing my collection uh, because it's always great fragrances that come out. Like, you know, some of these were new fragrances and some of these were older fragrances. It's always something's going to come out. So I'm a firm believer that you always are flipping and organizing and trying to find what works in your collection. Uh, so that is what I'm doing. East, uh, even going through my collection for my full collection review kind of opened my eyes to some fragrances I really need to go back and reach for. Some oldie but goodies that smelt amazing. And I don't know why I'm not wearing them, you know. Uh, so I'm enjoying this. But... Again, this was my birthday haul. I just celebrated uh, a beautiful birthday. I am on this day currently taping this video on June 25th. Uh, so I'm still kind of in the high from experiencing an amazing birthday. And I thank everyone who sent me happy birthday uh, wishes. It was, it was great. And it always feels wonderful to be appreciated. I thank y'all for watching this video. I hope that I discussed some fragrances that you might be interested in. I've given you the notes of them. Try them out. Try them out and figure out if it'll work for you. If you feel like there's some other ones I need to add to my collection, I probably would do another haul closer to the end of the year. Send it to me in the comments. Tell me about them in the comments. I'll go look the fragrances up and see if it'll be in my next haul, right? An, an, another set of things I want to add. Again, I want to thank you for watching this video. I appreciate you tremendously. Uh, have a wonderful day, a wonderful night. Whenever it was that you got an opportunity to watch this video, I hope you have subscribed and joined the family. And if not, keep watching. You're going to fall in love with me or you're going to fall in love with fragrances. I truly do believe that. I will see you in the next video.